So let me go over question six. Uh, for question six, we have a, a condition in the laboratory where the diode exhibits a 0 0.6 volts across it and a flowing current of 5 milliamperes. So it's known that the ideality factor n is equal to 1.5, but we need to find what would be the new current if the voltage across the diode is measured to be uh, 0 0.68 volts. So there is a missing uh, characteristic or like property of the diode that it's its saturation current, right? So first we need to calculate its saturation current and for calculating its saturation current we know that the saturation current IS is equals to the current divided by exponential of VD divided by the no ideality factor or the ideality factor sorry uh, times the thermal voltage. For the thermal voltage we are going to use at room temperature equals to 25 millivolts. Okay? So if we substitute the values in this equation here, we have 5 milliamperes exponential of 0 0.6 divided by the identity factor 1.5 1 1.5 times those 25 millivolts. This gives us a saturation current that it's 562.6 picoamperes. Okay. Now, for the new condition where VD is equal to 0 0.68 volts, the new current, so let me use a different color, the new current I, is going to be equal to the saturation current times exponential of VD divided by the ideality factor times the thermal voltage. We have like a minus one factor here, but this, because IS is so small, like in the order of pico amperes, and usually in this case the current I would be like in the order of milliamperes then that minus one factor it doesn't actually affect the result so you can keep the equation simplified this way so it's just those 562.6 picoamperes 10 to the minus 12 right exponential of 0 0.68 divided by 1.5 times 25 millivolts so this current I it's going to be 42.21 milliamperes. Okay, so that's the answer for this problem.